Now then, we're in January. We've just hit the 5th. Uh, and I was going to start by scouting a few players and showing you what we can get. Or rather, what we can't get, because all of the good talent is so expensive. How dare they? How dare they be so expensive? Um, so, like, we've got this 18 year wonder kid from PSV. Ihataran? Ihataran? Great pace, great first touch dribbling, 18 years old. But he's going to cost us 60 million. This was the guy I was really hopeful for, Esposito. We're looking for forwards to help Haaland out, really. 18-year-old uh, Winderkid. Winderkid? 18-year-old Wonderkid from Inter. Valued at 24 to 53. We're not, we're not going to be able to afford him. Great physicals. Always a big fan of the physicals. Great finishing. Bit of passing. He'd be ideal. Um, similarly, we'd like to get some more centre-backs in. Our defence this season has been fantastic. But I think we could get better ones in, which would allow us to push more midfielders forwards and really help the attack a bit more. Um, Bastoni is one we're looking at. He's got the standard. I want 15 at least jumping, uh, marking and tackling, heading, and then 15 positioning if possible, and then just good solid mentals. And for a 21-year-old, he looks brilliant. Um, he's only on 19k as well, which kind of makes me think we'd be able to get him. But at the moment, they don't want to sell. We might test the waters through this transfer list. This lad, Nasi Unavar, please correct me if I'm wrong with these pronunciations. Um, he also looks brilliant. I like his pace. He's already got 16 dribbling and finishing. 14 pace. If if that was slightly higher, I think he'd be worth millions. Um, but he's an attacking midfield with 14 passing. And he's from Ajax, which kind of makes you think maybe we could steal him. Um, so we might test the waters there, but they don't want to sell, which kind of indicates he'd probably cost us an arm and a leg as well. But he could play across the front and really help us out there. Because we need more goals from midfield. Saka is pacey as anything and would cost an arm and a leg. I kind of like the look of this lad, Isaac. Um, good, solid stats. However, his potential ability looks pretty low. So it doesn't look like he's going to improve much from there. Kind of as somebody to play in behind the striker. Uh, so since we're at the start of January, our next video will hopefully come with one, maybe two good signings we've made. Um, but until then, let's look at how the fixtures went through December. So when I left you last... We'd beaten Liverpool, but the problem was our main man, Haaland, had been injured for a month. And so on came December without the one man that can score his goals. It doesn't make pretty reading. So first off, we went away to West Ham. And we, we lacked the goal threat. Pereira was the first the first to get at, at us. Another outside of the box job. I was hoping with our two midfielders we should cancel all them out. We should stop those from happening. But occasionally it still happens. Next from a corner. We're not good enough in the air. Still. Something to improve upon. Joe Linton gets one back for us, however. Ball over the top from Terrier. And he actually finishes it at the second time of asking. I feel like in this game there are a lot of one-on-ones that aren't scored, whether it's just my players or whether it's part of the engine, I'm not sure. Uh, but we get put out of our misery late in the game, a ping-pong ball around the box, um, and it's in. So it wasn't the best of starts and unfortunately things just kept getting worse. So Brighton we are comfortably, comfortably beaten. I probably won't show all these goals because it's the same story over and over again and probably not the most entertaining of viewing as well. At this point, we've got a few injuries and the games are coming thick and fast. So we're rotating a bit, but we're playing Joe Linton in the Haaland role. Um, and we've even got to bring Jacob Murphy back. Uh, who's on the transfer list. 
Uh, we've got to bring him back into the team. And actually does all right for us, but the team performed terribly. Um, we lose to a, a Brighton team at home as well, which is very disappointing. Another goal from outside the area in that little spot where our defend our two holding midfielders should be screening, uh, should be screening that off. Brighton get another one. We get a consolation in the last minutes. Siginkov makes some glorious dribbles. Look at this for a goal. It's beautiful. But yes, we do. We lose two one in the end there. We follow this up with what looks like a good result, one all. However, it didn't fill me with confidence because we were outperformed. Huge. Look at the stats at the bottom here. They had 34 shots, 13 on target to 8 and 4. This game was just end to end. Um, it would have been a really good live game, actually. Um, but Joe Linton. Joe Linton gets another gets another goal in for us. He's not quite Haaland, but it's the standard way over the top, getting in behind, and he slots it away. He's definitely performed better this season than last. But unfortunately, we cough up a penalty, which is slotted away. Um, I've got to say, Gun. We had Gun in goal. He had an absolute stormer. He saved one-on-ones. Um, he saved everything other than the penalty. But he was brilliant. And at the end, there were a whole host of chances that Tottenham had. Uh, but he kept them out. So... Some some interesting points to take away from it, but still one all loss. Um, go to Everton. No, Everton come to us, and we get a nil nil draw. Game still coming thick and fast, rotating the team around. Tried playing Joel Linton in behind Muto. Muto's not getting anything for us. He only seems to work if we play him on the coming in off the left. Uh, and Terrier is so much better at that than he is. Uh, he's just got great assists and good all-round stats, and he makes a really good advanced playmaker coming in off the left. But nobody's nobody's really contributing with enough goals. Then came the start of a double against Sheffield United. They were bottom of the table this game, but I don't think now we have beaten Sheffield United in four games. Well, three games, I should say. The way they play can't cannot deal with it, cannot break them down, and they can score against us is essentially the, the issue. Here, here, we'd even managed to bring Haaland back from injury. He was back in the game, um, but just coming back from injury, he wasn't great. And we lost to Billy Sharp in the 66th minute. It's a, a man available on the edge of the box picking out Billy Sharp uh, and Sharp tapping it in. It's We need to do more with these defensive, with these midfield players as well so that they're screening in front a bit better. And then finally, we have, well, finally in the league, we go back. We have Sheffield United back around, and it's the same thing. I'm, maybe I'm tactically naive, and we need to change something about this when we play Sheffield United because we can't handle their their formation at all. Ball over the top. Defender stops for a second, gets rounded, bang. Again, we've got Haaland in the team. As you can see, we're, we're quite low on fitness. Games had come thick and fast. Um... And it was so tight at the top of the Premier League, if you remember. And that leaves us now in 10th position. We're now 10 points behind after that horrible December that we've had. Uh, hopefully we can kick on. It was so close. At one point, I think there was four points separating first from 10th. And we were in first, and now we're in 10th. Brighton doing astonishingly well. Wolves and West Ham, perhaps with the money behind them, you might expect the game to do that. Um, and Everton in 11th. Kind of separated almost how you'd imagine. So tight at the top. Hopefully we can push on and push for a European place and try and attract some slightly better players as well. Our chance at silverware, I say our chance at silverware, 
we were horrific last season. But we went and played Doncaster, and since it was Doncaster, since it was Doncaster, we've start. I pushed it up. I pushed the formation up to a four four two. So we had Joe Linton alongside Harland. It gave us a little bit more directness. Get a little bit more in the box. Um, and yeah, we got we got some joy out of that with with Harland getting us a goal, uh, and with Saint Maximan coming on and getting a goal, which was quite rare. But we'll we'll show you them. Kraft on outside, picks out Harlan, back post, smashes it. We need him. We are a one man Harlan team. Doncaster equalise. In the air. In the air. We're not good enough in the air. We need better defenders. Better, taller, more jumpy defenders. But Maxima gets his uh, ahead again with a lovely little strike. Look at that. Top bins. It's a great strike. Doesn't do it enough, unfortunately. Uh, and we gave Haaland a bit of a rest there. Until the 67th minute. No, hang on. Ignore that. So, as one of the player promises, John Joe Shelby wanted more first-team football. Alongside wanting more first-team football, he's also consistently been the worst performing player in training for a very long time so he's handed in a transfer request and we've accepted it because we're paying him 70k a week and he's not he's not doing enough to justify that if we can get 70k per week off the books that's some good youngsters we can get in okay so this is our team for wolves we've tweaked it up a bit after the last loss we got one of those news articles saying fans think Bruce doesn't change his tactics or whatever um, which always makes me feel like you have to change your tactics to get a win however I'm not changing the positions of the players on the field but I will tweak it a little bit um, so I've changed Siginkov to an inside forwards I'm gonna try Bruno Guimaraes as a volante so he's gonna get forward a little bit more uh, and be a bit more creative from the heat map, I'm not entirely sure why this leaves us with a major issue red spot right in the middle of the pitch when the formation is pretty much level. Alright, answers on a postcard, please. Um, other than that, Shelby's on the bench, Hayden's gone injured, uh, and Murphy's just been sent out on loan. Uh, more about that later. Um, other than that, we've got a strong team out. We'll give it our best shot against Wolves, um, and hopefully... Strong familiarity with the formation still, so but we'll see what we can do. We've also set the fullbacks to overlap in possession, um, hopefully helping us get a few more men forward if we're not just hitting them straight on the break. Uh, so let's get to it. Now, Wolves are lining up with another five at the back job, like Sheffield United that gave us such grief. Um, so we'll see how we get on. These guys are going to tuck in the middle. These guys, let's see, let's see how we go. Come on, team. Come on, then. They've got Moise Keane up front, who is a bit of a beast. Look at that. Oh, 57 million. Dreamer players like that. I mean, we've got Haaland. Oh, look at this beautiful passing out from the back structure. Go on, kick it long, I dare you. Vinagre just sailed past Kraft there. Got across him despite two men being on him. However, Butland saves. Butland's been a bit angsty about not getting enough, enough game time since Gunn's been performing so well. So, trying to keep him happy at the moment. Come on now, Assassibar. This is good possession from our lads. Although Wolves are pressing the Haaland through on goal! Ha oh, great recovery tackle. Siginkov gets dispossessed. Corner for Wolves. Oh, I'm scared about us in the air still. Improvements to be made. Like the, their other striker doesn't seem that good. Our corner, Siginkov. Terrier! Terrier! Yes, lads! Come on! Joe Linton with an assist as the ball bounced off him, I think. Let's have a look. Yep, Joe Linton... Failed to score, and the ball bounced out to Terrier. 
not the greatest stats ever, but Terrier has been consistently, consistently good. That Vinagre again. I don't like the look of him. Oh, edge of the box action. Come on, boys. Pack it. Pack the edge of that box. It's a nice ball out wide. To the fullback. Keen. Nods it over. We've kept it tight so far. They're doing a lot of being focused. Focused after the feedback. There are lots of shouts coming in. Ooh. They're really peppering our box where we're weak. Ooh, don't give the ball away there, lad. Oh, it's a cheeky one over the top again. Come on, Haaland. Come on, Haaland. Oh, no. Before his injury, you'd, you'd be guaranteed he'd make those. But wow, that was a miss and a half. Half time. Things are going well, but you're capable... Assertively, tell them. You're capable of better. That's not done anything for them. Apparently, we had cl three clear-cut chances there. I know in the... Uh, in the comments below... I've been told that clear-cut chances are calculated a bit funky, because I don't reckon that's three clear-cut. We had the one clean through on goal, and the goal, that's about it. We're keeping it as it is. Second half, let's go. 60 minutes, and this has been uneventful. This is nice, we don't mind uneventful. Not getting an opportunity to get many crosses in the box. Apart from Sigmund working it a bit. It's just solid at the moment. We're not going to make any changes yet. Hmm, here we go. Here's Wolves coming out with the deadly keen craft. Great challenge. Here we go. Keep hold of this ball. Yep. Yeah. Oh, sure. I'm scared if you're going to carry the ball. Ooh. Carrying the ball out of defense. They've got two up top. They're pressing us pretty strongly, actually. I like the way the game's set up so that Wolves actually do play quite like Wolves with strong man-to-man -man pressing. It's nice passing from the boys, though. Look at this. Just little triangles. No, don't give it away though. Nah! What have I said? What did I say? Oh. Keen on the ball. Don't give away. Oh, pants. Okay. Well, I saw that coming, right? I can claim I saw that coming. I'm going to bring Almiron on for Joe Linton. And we might bring on Maximan. For Sigmund a bit of fresh legs in the game. Ah, tense. It's tense. Right, don't get caught in possession here, lads. Right, great save, Bolton. Great save. We might have to do something about this. Slight. We set them to more direct passing, so we're not getting caught at the back. That pressing's horrible. Not it away. Oh no, the danger area. Not on the edge of the box, please. Oh, this this lad again. Go on, Butland. Good claim, Butland. Oh, I, we don't want highlights. We're good for highlights. Thank you very much. Nobody's anywhere near that. Yeah, stay back. Stay back, boys. Oh, no. Their wing backs are doing us for pace. We're ready for them, but they're still doing us for pace. Yeah, just as long as we're holding this middle. Oh, it's a great, it's a great last ditch tackle. And now Haaland's away. Good work, Haaland. Holding them off. This is tight. I'm happy with the team that's out there. This is a strong defensive performance so far. Overwhelmed. They've been getting endless feedback and now they're overwhelmed. Come on. 93 minutes. 93 and a half. 94 surely. Come on. Whistle. Yes. Yes, boys. That is a great victory. Under the cosh a little bit. Under the press from Wolves. Great victory. You will be appreciated. You will. Passionately. That was really special, lads. Everybody get a nice green arrow for your troubles. Glorious. So that result only takes us to ninth in the Premier League. But we're within spitting distance of that top group. Not too far away. Another couple of wins would be nice. Dragging Wolves back down to us. 
Excellent. So, I will see you next time at the end of January, where hopefully we've got a couple of signings to chat about. Maybe get ourselves a little bit more attacking intent, and maybe, possibly depending on what's available, uh, some height at the back. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you at the end of January in a bit.